Thursday at 7 US Eastern, where we talk about simple MMO, idle MMO, and other lightweight MMO RPGs. I'm Pison. I don't know if I'm flipped correctly. Uh, and that's Crazy Fi over there. And tonight we have a great episode that's already effed up. <laughs> ah, it's it's going well. Uh, so tonight we're going to be discussing the resurgence of Heaven and Hell. Okay, maybe not the resurgence, but the they're they're back. Heaven and Hell's back. Uh, we're also going to go over. It's like it's going to take us one second. Uh, some idle and memo news or lack of, and we're going to be covering. Uh, a huge update in Ironwood RPG. It's one of the best games we've been playing lately. Yes. Uh, and it, it's just, it's got such a great update that we want to discuss because it could easily be applied to other um, like lightweight MMOs we play, like Simple MMO, etc. cetera. Uh, so it's just really great how it's how it's done here. And then of course, we're going to end the night with uh, the latest process report for spring 2024 seasonal go leaderboard within Simple MMO. I haven't looked at it. I don't know. I don't know really what's going on Hopefully there. I like to, I like to leave, I, you know, I like it to be a, a uh, surprise. Yeah. Why am I upside down? Uh, don't, my don't, hey, man, don't, don't look at the stream. Don't look at the stream. Bro, okay? <laughs> bro, now I'm going to have to like take over asked, the Thursday she said, stream. Please, she said, please flip pies and upside down. So I had to do now, it. Now, dude, you're about to get fired. You know, <laughs> we don't pay you. I don't know what that's like. Can you fire a volunteer? <laughs> can you, uh, I'm sure. I'm sure you can. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> I would never fire that. <laughs> All right. Um, actually, before we get into intros, I'm going to go straight to chat because everyone's been very. Oh, I don't know if you've been patient, but um, <laughs> I will say I was first. Uh, for some reason, I can't see all of chat right now. Hold on. I have the back end. So Shadow was here first, 41 minutes early. Welcome to the stream. Elemental Wars was here. Or is here, hopefully still. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. LTS mod shout out. Dark is here. We have Abyssal. We have the bombs. We have uh, uh, Azacalus is here. We have Daddy Revos. I don't know. <sighs> just saying the word daddy out loud is just, I don't know if I need to do that. Ooh, DR. We daddy. have DR here. Mm. Right, Sassima is here. <laughs> Sassima is here, right? Asima, as they're known in TPC. We have TK Eclipse showing up. We have Nauri mod shout out, you bastard. We have Kasu here, who's apparently more popular than me in my own stream chat. Hey, uh, we real also fast. Daddy yeah. did respond because I know you're far back. He said, uh, "They said, uh, say it, baby." <laughs> we have Demo here, who doesn't know how to change their YouTube uh, username. Rip Demo, uh, not a god like we all thought. And we have Corvoid showing up again. Good to see you, Corvoid. Uh, I feel like I'm seeing a bunch of familiar faces because I streamed last night, so this is great. Uh, Chubi showing up. Good to see Chubi, of course. He's the captain of everything we do. He, Chubi is just, like, on point. If if Chubi ever disappears or Our says, I'm done screen. playing... Yeah, if he's like, <laughs> I'm done playing over. next game, Yeah. hopefully Dagon can take the reins because, uh, you know, Dagon's been, you know... He's been putting in work too as a as a captain. They're, those aren't real roles in any of the games we play, but you know, deem it that way. <laughs> Who else? Who else we got? <laughs> Who else we got? I, I need a fresco already. Dude, um, scrolling, scrolling. Uh, if you're lurking, say hello. And if you quit, if people left because of the Jane Corp, bring them back. All right, uh, we need them back here. No, we don't Bajornin, want. Them. Bjornin's here, also known as uh, uh, Bjorkson from Team Liquid. Good to see you, homie. I'm glad you. I'm. I'm, I'm glad you graced our presence here at this lowly stream. I uh, hope you're doing well in retirement. <laughs> if you don't watch LCS, you don't know what the fuck I'm just talking about. Dagon is here, mod shout out once again. Uh, <laughs> Dagon says all kinds of things you can say for a quick and easy mute. Talking about in game, it's really fun. Uh, yeah, don't don't do that. Uh, who else? Oh, Shin's here. Shin's back. Good to see you, Shin. We have... Oh, Demo changed his name. I have to take it back. Demo's a god. It's kind of weird how it updates Did like, you miss all the through. stickers and the donation? Yeah, it's not... That didn't show for me. Uh, here, let me read it out, out real fast then. Yeah, go um, ahead. Nallery for the $2. Really appreciate it. She said, thank you, CF. You're welcome. That's what I'm here for. I serve the mods. Um, Cutie did a, a, a poop emoji... Uh, sticker, for even worse. Ninety nine cents. Uh, appreciate it, cutie. Thank you for supporting us. Dark did a one ninety nine. Uh, foam finger up. I don't know what the fuck you call that thing. Are you like an Atlanta Brave fan? Yeah, yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Uh, like from Grandma. You know how she had that yes, one. Yes, dude. Yes, <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. Um, oh shit. But yeah. Thanks for all the support, guys. We really, really appreciate it. 
Oh my god. In chat, Corvoid said, Pison's mute has spread to the stream. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vex is here. Good to see you, Vex. Uh, oh, I scrolled way over it. Uh, Vex said something nice, I think. I don't know if they said something nice. <laughs> oh my god, it shot me away from Vex's message. Oh, Pison, if you're reading this, I'm coming back after dinner. I'm babysitting right now. Don't worry, some Pison. Thank you, Vex. I was worried. Uh, I, I'm trying to... I think I'm caught up. I'm almost there. I'm almost to the stickers. I think we lost a lot of people to the Jankor, which is great to do on our biggest stream of the week. Uh, yeah. I'm sure we'll, we won't not feel true this later. Then. Everyone here... True Yo, fans. Saf is here. Good to see you, Saf. That's a real friend right there. Saf is always showing up. She said she appeared um, when the Jane Corps happened. Oh, good. I mean, I mean, she you knew exactly it. what you were. Yeah, you knew exactly what you're walking into then, because Saf is a, a veteran around here. We have veteran. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Mor Morks, Morks us. Morks is saying hello. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you didn't see any of the bad shit. Uh, Little Miss Vikings here. Welcome to the stream. I, these are new names. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Please, I hope you did not see the Jane Core <laughs> in the beginning. But if you want to, there'll be a VOD later. And no, you go check it out. I'm going to edit that out. I'm <laughs> editing it out. Durr is here. What's up, Durr? Yo, Dark with the $5 uh, sticker bot. I don't know what that Super is. Chat. Yeah. Come on. Glory to heaven and glory to hell. I don't know that's how the guild name is read, but their third super ever. Thanks, Dark. Keep going. Keep paying my salary. Um, <laughs> and I'm all caught up. All right. all right. Look at you. All right. Here's your five. Besides royally screening the stream, it happens. how are you doing tonight? No, it does. Uh, oh I'm, I'm doing all right. It's uh, been a long day. I literally just showed up to the house right as... Um, we uh, were about to start streaming, so that was nice. Um, but good news, I finally have confirmation uh, for you know being able to, when I could s potentially start my next job, so I'm excited about that. Um, it finally took me a few months, but sweet Jesus, I'm ready to go. Um, so that was a good day. For, well, today was a good day for me because of that, so I'm kind of happy about that, making some life wait, changes. Wait till I tell them, dude. Wait till I tell them about your OBS skills. They're going to be like, uh. They'll be like, hire, hire him now. We want them back to the trenches. So back to the trenches with you. <laughs> social, <laughs> hey, they're going. I'd be the social media manager immediately. Uh, but also, uh, shout out to Cutie for upgrading membership to homies. Really appreciate Cutie. Thank you for. for yeah, that is the top us. tier. It's literally for flexing purposes, and you get you know personalized thank you at the end of the stream, or not. It's there's too many now, but at the end of the vods. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, shout out to Cutie. Yeah, paint. Cutie's just flexing know, on everyone now. Making sure we go to college when we grow up, dude. I would love that. Let's do it. We could hold hands together while we go to class. What university? Should we go to Simple No University? <laughs> Notice me, crazy fight under the, the cherry blossoms. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to every winter university. <laughs> every winter university? Yeah, dude, that's hardcore, dude. It's winter year round. <laughs> I'm going to freeze my little dingling off. <laughs> uh, we're only from Florida. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so when do you start your new job? Um... <laughs> Say the month. <laughs> Hopefully June. <laughs> I, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I like finding now as a partner in Couch Cat, like, the well, same time as everyone. It, all these a whole peasants. story. I'll tell you after stream about the whole shit show it, it took to get to okay. where I'm at today. Cause it's, I, believe, I believe it. Yeah. It, it made me really appreciate that I made the decision that I'm making. Uh, let's just say that. Okay. Um, but yeah. Yeah. All right. How, how are you doing? Did you check the audio? <laughs> Is Pison too loud for you guys? Yeah, um... Uh, Safi, you're absolutely correct. Two-inch or bust, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Crazy Fi, lower me just a bit. Alright. Just a little bit. I am, like, kind of, like, talking, like... Yeah. I just listened to the echo and it was pain. Like, I just came out. I scared, I scared myself. Yeah, see, Cutie said, yeah. I got the ear, man, you know, the podcast ears. That's the only thing with Discord. Like, you gotta... The audio is not the... Yeah. But it's still better than Skype. So, I mean, usually by now, Skype has compressed our my audio. And I sound like a fucking chicken. And your <laughs> video chicken looks really good compared to Skype as well. At least dude, on Skype my throttled, end. Skype throttled us. I'm telling yeah. you, dude. It throttled my like, computer they, too, apparently. Because they have like a premium model. Like, who's paying for Skype these days? All right. Um. So, I'm doing great. Um. I just want to remind everyone... Uh. The new website's still in progress. It's in CF's and Yomu's hands. Um, so, uh, really, I'm it's, just kind of like all Yomu. He's crushing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and I'm just kind of like watching it. 
Uh, but otherwise, like, I'm just watching that happen. Um, pretty, mm. you know, it's been a good week so far. I love doing the streams. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, Kintress was telling me you had a good stream, too, because she'll, oh. she'll tune in. Yeah, so um, chat. So, yeah, I mean, I, I just love doing the stepping streams to make my week better. Oh, yeah, um, it's also, relaxing it's just, as all hell. It's just been a really quiet week, so it's been... I got a group project in the class I'm in, and that's just so... I don't know why online classes have group projects. I really do not. It's like hurting a bunch of stupid cats, you yep. know? Um, oh, yeah. It's ridiculous. I'm like, am I, am I the only adult in this class? Like, <laughs> But yes. uh, so I'm, I'm working on that. Uh, I've been playing a lot. I've been playing a lot of the games we play. I know a lot of people abandon Bit Heroes, but I've been smashing Bit Heroes with like Orange Man, who's an OG Couch Cat uh, friend. Uh, Nalry. Um, I think Maris just dropped off again. Uh, and, but anyway, I'm still playing Bit Heroes. So if you, if anyone out there is playing Bit Heroes, uh, consider joining the Couch Cat Guild. I'm still playing. I'm I'm the guild leader of Idol MMO. Uh, like Crazy Fi is the guild leader in Ironwood, mm. and so I'm I'm leading Idol MMO. We're doing great. We're the top. We're the 11th guild. The top 11th guild in the game. So if you're looking for a guild that is badass, join us. Um and. Yeah, that's what I've been pretty doing. Oh, and I've also been watching Shogun, okay? So if you, if anyone out there has Hulu or watches FX on cable, if people still do that, <laughs> Shogun is out. It's an excellent show. Um, I can't wait to read the book. What is it about? But it's essentially, people like, they compare it to, you know, the the samurai, you know, the samurai version of Game of Thrones. Uh, the Edo period in Japan. It's where, hmm. you know, the shogunate reign supreme there's a council to you know there, there's a council in place uh to keep like the balanced peace but of course that you know that never works out there's of always course. a lord that is that feels threatened by another etc cetera, etc cetera. so it's very um political mm. it's very uh gory just like game of thrones was it had you know it had those like uh, split second scenes of you know sword fighting etc assassination whatever um it's great it's a great show so it comes out i think every wednesday yeah so i've mm. been watching shogun i've been watching a lot of anime because i re-upped crunchyroll for the first time in like a year and i just want to tell everyone i mean furion you know it's a great anime right i've been watching a lot of animes a lot of rom-coms like uh the cool guy the cool yeah, the cool guy and, you know, his uh, whatever <laughs> something co-worker. It was, or the ice guy and the cool cool girl co-worker or something. Great. I watched uh, Signs of Affection. Great. But then I, 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 saw, I saw, like, Hokkaido Girls are adorable and, like, all these other, like, rom-coms. And why is there a lot of anime these days that is, like, animated, like, paper or, like, cardboard boxes? And, like, oh. they have, like, the same facial expression expression, excuse me, for like the whole scene and like the background scenes are empty or they're like stock. And it's oh. just like, why, why do these animes exist? And it's, I don't know. Make I just want to cheap and get big profit. Yeah. It's awful. And I don't think they get profit. It's just oh. like, <laughs> it's just bad. Oh. It just makes me mad. Like you watch Furion, which is like, everything's animated. The blade mm. of grass is animated. And then you watch like Hokkaido girls are adorable or some shit. And it's like, it's like I developed it, but yeah, there, there's me. Um, Stay tuned that, that for next Thursday when Couch Cat develops their own anime. Yeah, isn't Babel developing their own game? Can we? <laughs> isn't that rumor floating around XMMO? I, I yes, I've I've heard of this rumor. By the way, um, that Babel vod is like at 600 views. So if you watch that. Up. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Like it if you haven't. If you if you're if you saw the stream and you're like, I don't need to watch the VOD, go over there and like it, please, because the likes are kind of abysmal. But I mean, we the views are good. You, the views, nonetheless. Yeah, you guys are pretty cool. We'll say that. Now, he says it's the MMO for people who don't believe in censors. <laughs> okay. Daddy says Shogun is dope. Yeah, I know, right? Shogun's awesome. <laughs> I told LTS about it, and LTS is like. I can't pay attention for two seconds. But then we watched, we watched the freaking crazy space show on a Apple, and it's like just as fucking weird. And <laughs> okay, that's all I really had to talk about. All right. All um. Right. So, if you're ready, let's move over to uh, one of the main topics tonight. 
Do you want to um, cover the membership ad? Now nah, do it in between. All right, fair enough. Been talking too much. We could, uh, yeah, hold on. Because I can't do studio mode. This is fucking busted. Hold on one second. Let me transition us. And then don't. Oh, great. Why is it capturing this? Um. <laughs> you have two different scenes open. Yeah, hold on. Oh, Jesus. There we go. We'll start with this one. This is what happens when you can't do studio mode, so you have to make edits on the fly. I, I'm not a fan of <laughs> this. Okay. All right. You, you want to talk about this? Yeah. So apparently Heaven and Hell's back. And Cutie, Dark, uh, I know you're here. Um, I think it was this week, right? I'm pretty sure interview Pratt. No, I'm not interviewing Pratt. He's, he's too busy. I don't even talk to I have not talked to Pratt in probably a year. Uh, which is a shame because he used to be a guest all the time. Okay, so Heaven and Hell returns sometime, I think, this week or or late last week. Uh, and Pratt resumed leadership. So it's not it's not like a different iteration of Heaven and Hell. Well, maybe it might be. But Pratt actually came back as the leader this time because Pratt had on and off gone to Babel. Uh, so think of that of, of what you will. Uh, and now he's back in H&H. &H. And they're act if you go to their page, uh, I think if you scroll down Crazy File, you'll see yeah. they're oh no, it's right there. Yeah, they're yeah. actively recruiting. So they are I don't know if they're trying to make a comeback or what, or just like revitalize the guild, but they're actively recruiting. And uh supposedly Dark, who's here in chat, Dark returned to the game. And uh Pratt saw Dark back and and I don't know if you know this was planned with or without dark uh, in the picture but pratt was like let's just let's just let's do it so after a long hiatus which dark dark you haven't played the game i mean you did the one off here and there but you hadn't played the game in like a year uh so after dark's hiatus and pratt um putting h and h on the back burner or like indefinite sleep <laughs> uh they're back uh, so but can you say it's nope. back because they only have 29 members Kind of weak. Well, I will say me. they're try they're trying to be back. I'm not saying they're SGL worthy. I'm just saying they're Ooh, it's a shit. it's a it's a it's a legacy guild that you know was put to sleep and then is now reawakened. Yeah, they're not even top fifty. Kind of trash, if you ask me. Oh god. Anyway, <laughs> some things to note: only some of the core members returned. Mm -hmm. uh, Dark being one of them. Mm -hmm. You know, a bunch of Babel alumni. So that that's gonna go well. Uh, just kidding. Just kidding. So Dark. Is back Pratt, obviously. I think I saw Zerno go Whoa, back. Chuby's Who's playing? Chuby? That motherfucker <laughs> that bastard. I thought I thought you were like banned, Chuby. What happened? <laughs> Chuby, um, Zerno, I saw Zerno leave to join our yeah, guild. Join. That's dark right there with a different name, Baller. Baller. But mm -hmm. Cutie didn't go back. Mallory didn't go back. Phoenix Lord. I don't know who any so, of these people are. Those were the only ones I really recognized. Yeah, so. there's not really <laughs> Oh, DD, a week ago. Mm. Okay. Chewy, four weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a pipe dream maybe at this point. Yeah. But it wasn't on the thing I wanted to stress because Cutie ever since Cutie did that simple mill bingo card as like a troll move against like people getting banned and muted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just wanted to say like, this was not on it. I did not expect Heaven and Hell to come back. Mm -mm. Um. And I don't know how long it'll last. So, uh, and I'm looking, I'm looking in chat here, and Cutie, I don't think you have anything to say about it. <laughs> so, but Cutie does say with the way Dark PVPs, they'll be top fifteen for sure. But Dark isn't going to burn themselves out this time because if anyone remembers Dark slash Chef, whoever you knew, yeah, yes. it was like, it was like just destroying. It, they were Dark was like a mini wob, uh, wobbly cat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like a wobbly cat in the making if Dark didn't quit. And it babbled and bully her. <laughs> okay. So I wanted to cover that because we try to cover, you know, simple mo lore, legacy, history here. Yeah, so. of course. It Good is, luck, I, Heaven I, I and mean, Hell. All the, all the shit that I just gave him, like, it is nice to see an older guild come back 
And I hope that they do really do come back and, and start dominating, get in the top 25. I would love to see that. Yeah. Fingers crossed, you know? Oh, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> oh, so, yeah, the title does. The title is messed up. Did you? Oh, so I'm not the only one who's messing things up. <laughs> Here, don't worry, I got you. Real time edits. See, that, um, you jinxed it. You, you did this to us. That's how I see uh, it. You you started the roll, works. and then it all went downhill from no, there. No, that's not how it works. Okay, we're moving on to the next topic. Next title is going to be topic. every other word will be capitalized. Don't worry. Um, so I was hoping... Oh, wait. Hold on. What's up? Uh, Can you capture the I don't know Discord? Um... In the announcement tab? I'll send you the link. I got it. Oh, you got it? Okay, sweet. There you go. Right there. Right there. Okay, so this was supposed to be a lack of news for Idle MMO because we had an announcement earlier in the week mm -hmm. uh, that they were expecting the iOS app to hit the store. Yeah. Uh, but here we go at 1.08 p.m. that... Galahad Creative is looking for iOS beta testers for Idle MMO. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, I'm going to do the same. You know what? Let's do it live on camera. Yeah. <laughs> iOS there. beta. Oh, don't there. look at my DM. <laughs> okay. So there, there's the news right there. Idle MMO iOS app in uh, in testing. So I, I I'm excited for it. I mean, it runs yeah. pretty well on, you know, just like a Chrome browser on your That's phone. That's what I was thinking. Like, I was like, you know what? On In Safari, it's fine. It's annoying that there's no quality of life. Like, you know, like if you're on a page, sometimes you have to refresh it to get like right. the latest info, like right. through travel and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but for the most part, when people are like, I don't want to touch this without an app. I mean, it's kind of like simple mode browser on the phone. It works yep. pretty good. Yeah. Android beta win. Yeah, well, everyone who uses Android is a beta. Just kidding, I'm kidding. I, can't, I, I used to be Damn, Android too. Damn, dude. I'm kidding. Damn. I've been both. I've been both, I promise. Yeah, it, I promise. Uh, like Naller's saying, it would be really nice if the uh, app had notifications for whenever you complete something. That would oh be Oh my cool. God, dude. I know. I w <laughs> Just like any type of... Uh, just like any type of communication from like the game to the player. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, yeah. Most of the pings are pretty useless in this game. Bomb yeah. says, Bison, you're dead to me now. <laughs> Come on, dude. I was Android. I had the stupid Samsung Galaxy watch that wouldn't register anything because I have tattoos. Uh, I had a Pixel. I had an OG Samsung G, whatever the frick, Galaxy. I, man, I've been there. And I wish I had a fold, but I'll just wait. I'll wait for Apple to do it. Shots fired. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> uh, now I don't use Android, so that's not how the joke works. Okay, let's move on. Right. So this is going to be a VOD, uh, but this is an awesome update that we have to go over. Ah, right. uh, yes. You want me to do, pull it up? Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do this thing. Not with that sound. Yeah. Give me a second. It's a struggle bus, you know? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hold on. I like phone. I like lamp. There we go. All right. Scroll down a little bit. Yep. Oh, my God. It's not even centered. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what's going on. Don't look oh at me. Oh, my God. Jesus. Oh, the dogs are barking. I hate that I can't do studio mode. Like, this shit gets hidden from everyone when it's studio mode. Don't look at me. All right, this is I it. I don't believe in studio mode. I, I don't know how to mode. use it. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So we're not going to read every... No, no, go up. What are you doing? This is... Oh, my God. You That's want me it. to scroll all the way to everything? Okay. No, whatever. right there. Jesus. So I... Go down. You're go delayed. To... Stop telling me what to do because you're <laughs> fucking delayed, dude. I had it right 13. when you said it was good. Jesus all right. Christ. All right. I don't have feedback. I don't have feedback <laughs> in Discord. Yeah, all right. <sighs> Fuck me. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Ironwood RPG, one of the best idle games out there. Uh, 
one of the best idol MMOs out there, excuse me, with a uh, fully, you know, fleshed guild system. Oh, so if you're looking for an epic, what should, why am I on the screen? Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I was trying to, don't worry about it. Okay. Don't do anything else. I'm trying to get the VOD <laughs> down. All right. Go ahead. And, re do, and take two. <laughs> okay. Hey, everyone. So this is Ironwood RPG. This is the latest update. It's one of the best idle MMOs out there. Uh, it's still in beta, right? Yeah, it's in beta yes. testing. No, it's in alpha. Okay, it's in alpha testing. It doesn't matter. It, there's some. There's going to be a wipe in the future, but we don't know when, and it probably never happened. But it's an alpha testing, and it used this game has pretty much everything you can think of uh, in terms of skills, in terms of dungeons, uh, you know, the guild system, whatnot, with no, you know, in-game monetization and all that jazz. Right. It had pets at one point. It did. Um, but it didn't work the way the dev wanted it to, and the right. community had feedback concerning it. Now it's back, and it's back in the form of something called a taming skill. And this skill, the taming, allows players to hatch pets from eggs. We all love doing that, right? Heck Level yeah. them up and, and send them on expeditions to gather various resources. Uh, so the resources are generally like crack, you know, things you would need for crafting. Um, so, and there's up to 39 unique pets in the game uh, for the taming skill, and it's spread across three tiers of eggs. They're small, medium, and large. So there's you know different tiered pets, uh, but you know, so that would you know you, maybe you'd have concern about the lower tier just being kind of like junk pets, and you kind of you know you toss them in the in the shed and you forget about them. But apparently, lower tier pets. In the taming skill, uh, they'll have an option to evolve at certain levels so that pets aren't left behind and you can continue to use the same pets. Because right now, everyone in the game hat starts with three pets. Yeah. Uh, and essentially, you could just stick with them. And you could evolve them later. Yeah, it could. Uh, and, uh, you know, beyond that, they come with stats. So it's not just like a pet and a slot that you send off and, you know, it'll do its thing and come back. Uh, they have their own stats. Um, they have, you know, things like HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. Uh, they also come with uh, a mixture of traits that boost the stats. So you can have pets that are tilted one way or the other uh, for specific skills. Uh, they also come uh, with between one to four passives that also boost the various stats. So these pets um, have death to them. Uh, which I like. I like that, you know, they're spec'd out differently. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, again, they can tilt one way or the other. Um, and you see stuff like that. They're familiars, right? But in, in Bit Heroes, like you're you're going for certain familiars for right. a certain stat uh, yeah. profile. It's the same thing. Yeah, same thing here. And when you play this game, it's very minimalistic. Mm -hmm. But then like the, like in appearance, but then the systems... The, the systems have death to them, and here is just a great example of the pet system. So, continuing on, uh, pets have various item specializations that determine what they will find when sent on the expedition. So, some might, you know, be better at finding ore, some might be, you know, better at finding, you know, uh, logs, yeah, uh, powders, etc. for all the different types of skills. Yeah. Um, so if you're like a miner, you're going to want, you know, your pets stacked with finding ore. Give them a pickaxe um, and send them to the coal mines. Uh, <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah something like that uh expeditions also use something called pet snack that's the, yeah. the currency for the skill right so and when right. i say currency i mean like you know everything in the game requires coal that's a currency uh to go with an ore or right, to go right. with something to whatever right so they it's something called a pet snack and you can use raw fish uh, so, you, you know, get, get to catching some raw fish, brother, or use one of the pets to do it for you. Uh, like, you know, Crazy Fight alluded to, let them do all the hard you, work. You're going to tell me that I got to feed my pets too now? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't even know where you have to freaking pat that thing. And you're oh, like, I dude, don't, don't even get me doing. started on the fucking petting. <laughs> dude, unhappy and unfed. <laughs> you know what? That's how you're going to stay, damn it. Because <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> yeah, dude, my reindeer is not really happy. Oh, uh, no, but, it's, um, it's, it's on death's door at this point. Yeah, and so uh, beyond the the pet snack that you need to you know run on these expeditions, the expeditions themselves they come in three options right now. Mm -hmm. uh, 
there it was three hours, but now I think it's been boosted to four hours. Yeah. So there's four, eight, and twenty-four hour expeditions. Um and, and they net, you know, they net the taming skill EXP along with the pets. Uh and then also Here, the resources show... and gold. The actual window. Yeah, I have the cliff notes. You can show okay. the actual taming cool. skill window. These are my um, little pets. Yeah, these are little pets. I have I renamed one Chubers after Chuby. And I, I have two more that I need to name. Uh, but this is a taming oh window. God. And they're cute. One's resting, apparently. Dude, is I, that your expedition? Yeah. Look at that, dude. Look at all that raw fish you can give them some for pet snacks. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> raw cod, brother. <laughs> raw cod. Raw cod, that up. sounds weird. <laughs> raw cock, baby. <laughs> uh, what did you just say? <laughs> cod, I said cod. <laughs> I said cod. <laughs> What'd you call me? Anyway. <laughs> uh, ooh, I get to uh, hatch each... another big boy. A mandrake. <laughs> each uh, expedition <laughs> has various traits that define what pets will be good against them. Uh, and these traits will rotate twice a week. So expeditions have, you know, uh, debuffs <laughs> or buffs against, you know, to or, or against them. You see that in, in the... Uh, the enemy NPCs in the game, where it'll be like, you know, uh, two-handed's better against, you know, this type of uh, biome of mobs or, you know, range or sword and board, whatever. Uh, and then, finally, uh, and again, these are just the cliff notes that yeah. I think really stand out. Finally, matching pet traits to gain an advantage against expedition traits is vital. Uh, if an ex as an example, if an expedition has the attack and defense traits, then then pets with high special attack and defense stats will be best. Uh, and I will say, combat in this game is pretty brutal. It is uh, incredibly brutal. You think you think you show up and you can just kill a snail without any food equipped, and no. you know you're not, you don't have the ad advantage weapon uh, or armor, you're, you're dead. I mean, a if snail, anyone's read the, the Reddit story about that snail, that's basically the same thing. You're going to die. <laughs> it's rough, but yeah, so this is, Do this you know is the, the ranch? Can you explain the ranch? Uh, I can't even fucking see it, but yeah. So the ranch, uh, it's the one building so far attached to the taming skill and it increases pet storage right now. Okay. Uh, I could send my I, boy to the ranch. I guarantee you. I guarantee you there's going to be some type of like a Poke Center or some shit or like the Pokemon daycare. Uh, I guarantee you there's going to be a way if you leave pets in the ranch, you could probably like passively level them up. Wait, hold not on. As good as Expedition. You were just you were describing the barn. Barn increases. That's Where's the, the What's the what's the ranch? That's that a great the question. Barn, That's why I was asking you because I don't fucking know. There's a I could send. Maybe I, it's what up. I just said. Huh? I, I could literally send one of my resting pets to... I got two T-Blends? I don't want to... Bro, it's what I just described, I think. The ranch is probably a way to level your pet outside of Expedition. Is that in the notes? <laughs> we'll fit... Someone Added will the comment pet it. species for ranch purposes when viewing a pet. Yeah. Uh, Duck uh, says this is a really idle. This is yeah a game for idle purists. Like, you can literally chop wood for a week. You don't... There's no timer on the idle action, okay? You can literally do whatever you want. Oh, it's it's the Pokemon daycare. That's where you go to make your your pets make love to each other. There you go. There you go. All right, I got it mixed up. My bad. But that's yeah, the good. update. And I really wanted to showcase because one, this is a great game. The dev Mickey Boy really listens to feedback and really knows what the frick they're doing. Yes. Uh, and this is again Ironwood RPG. Uh, and the coolest thing about how he did this is like you could easily see this apply to other games we play yeah. to like simple mill instead of it just being an equip right a pet equip Absolutely. Uh, to idle in the mill instead of just petting your pet and sending them to battle and the battle system in that game is so horrendous um yeah this is just a really cool way to implement pets into the game and it kind of remind me of tamagotchi like the it, the art the, style yeah the uh, yes absolutely yeah it's just really nostalgic when you look at um the the pet the, the pet tab or the tame skill tab it really yeah is. that'll do it for the iron the latest ironwood rpg uh update give it a shot uh and we'll have it linked down in the vod um but mm -hmm. yeah cool cool only took us two tries <laughs> hey man uh, 
Perfection doesn't come hey, easy. Hey, stop playing the game. Stop. We're live right now. Stop playing the game. <laughs> Don't, hey, dude, you're doing a great job. I'm just giving background for people to focus on instead of just seeing words. That's boring. Right? <laughs> Tell them, everyone. You want to see Ironwood Idol. <laughs> um... Okay, moving on to SGL, or you wanna you wanna pop in a little advertisement? I'll do the ad. Yep. Okay. All right. So before the SGL, uh, you know, essentially the best the best content of the night, uh, we have to go over our sponsor for tonight, which is all of you, everyone. Uh, this stream would not happen without all of you YouTube members out there, uh, the Couch Cats, the Inner Circle, and especially the homies. Thank you so much for choosing to support us with your hard-earned money. For as little as $2.99 a month, um, you'll get access to emotes. Spam the emotes if you got them. You get access to evolving badges over time. So think about, you know, it's exactly just like Twitch. Um, you get access, early access to all the VODs from the stream. So if you, I don't know, maybe you, you, you just want to see different parts of the stream later or you don't actually watch the stream, but you love the VODs. Well, as a member, you get early access and they're scheduled that way um, for, you know, early viewing. We will have more community communication uh, coming soon through the YouTube uh, channel tab. Yep. And yeah, it's just a, you know, it's a great way to support us if you've ever thought about wanting to support us. And of course, if you're not a YouTube member, just showing up, liking the stream and subscribing if you're new and telling others to subscribe. Uh, especially like your guildies, you know, if you're in Simple MO or I don't know, and you have guild members who want to, you know, they want more content of the mm -hmm. game they're playing, point them our way. It, it, people do this. We've grown from word of mouth. So just, just supporting us that way is, you know, an excellent way to do, to, you know, to help us out here. But yeah, you know, thank you for the emotes, man. Yep. So again, thanks to all the YouTube members, uh, the Couch Cats, the Inner Circle, the Homies, and thank you to everyone who's just here. Maybe you're not a member. That's, that's perfectly fine. Thank you for just showing up. To all of our streams, all our videos, and supporting us that way. All right, there you go. That's the uh, and we're sponsored by subscribe by, uh, by Honda. No, I'm just kidding. we're uh, Team Liquid Honda over here. <laughs> Dude, did you see those finals? Oh, oh no, don't, 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 don't talk about it. I, I'm, oh, I'm so close. Lord. I've all, I've only have a few more games. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> yeah, Incubus is back. Uh, for those of you who don't know, in the chat, Incubus is it's the band. It's what literally a, the band what a Incubus. Joke. What a knee slapper that was. What a knee slapper. Supa Ada, welcome to the stream. I'm seeing some new names. Actually, I think I've seen Supa before. But, yeah. Bombs just said, I like Ironwood and normally dislike idle games. Are you in her guild, uh, Bombs? I thought you were going to say his most recent comment. <laughs> no, I'm not reading that one. <laughs> <laughs> not, the maid costume is not happening. Also, he said custom. So yeah, actually the maid custom. At 1K subs, I will I will act like a maid. <laughs> just just you in the background <laughs> dusting your office. <laughs> yeah. What can I what can I get you this evening? Do you want green tea or some shit? <laughs> Don't forget the baseboards now. <laughs> oh my lord. The baseboards? There's a hack for that. You use uh dryer sheets and uh, it sucks. It just sucks when you have to clean those, okay? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, at, I, I should mention this. We're we're almost halfway there. So thank you to all the new subscribers if you're watching this at a later time or if you're here right now. We're at like 945 subs. At a thousand subs. If you're new here and you don't know, we collaborate with artists in the game and do giveaways. So we have an, a custom item made and it's sponsored by Mike and Galahad Creative and we inject it into the game's ecosystem and we do a giveaway. We host it in our Discord, which is linked down in the description. And uh, this collaboration is coming up is with Zerno. You know, the Zerno who left us for heaven and hell. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, but it's the Zerno X Couch Cat item. So at 1K subs, we'll be giving this away. Uh, and you could all win a chance to have it in game and flex. Okay. Because it's not it's not good to equip it unless you're like level 10. Mm -hmm. But it's really mainly to put in your showcase and flex that, you know, you're cooler than most people in the game. Oh, Lord. Yeah. You should really uh, see what your alt account saying in chat right now. What's Kimcher saying? <laughs> that is Pison's real job at home. Oh, the May? That mu <laughs> Oh, I guess you don't want uh, health insurance. Okay, Kimchers. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I guess you want to live under a bridge, Kimchers. <laughs> Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what? The... Okay. All right. <laughs> Should we go to the SGL at this point? <laughs> Oh, I thought you I thought you loved me, Kentris. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is the mother to your child. That is your yeah, baby mama. Her. That's why I can joke like this. She knows. Uh, always threatening to put me under a bridge. <laughs> Kentris, blink twice if you need help. Uh, <laughs> It's so good. I'm glad I married her. <laughs> All right, let's do the SGL, brother. All right, let's do this. Okay, let's this. all right. Mute someone LTS, mute Kim Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Uh, I don't know why it's off center now. Oh, okay. Switch this. There we go. All right, you ready? I'm going to... Yeah, let's do this thing. Oopsies. Well, it's just fucking okay. Do 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 do. <laughs> Ladies and gentle steppers, welcome to another report of our seasonal guild leaderboard for season four, where we track the top twenty-five guilds broken down into five different tiers. I just want to say thank you to Yomu who has provided this dashboard for us. I, amazing individual, co-developer of Idle MMO, admin for Simple MMO, creator of our dashboard for SGO, creator for our new website that's coming out. He does it all. Uh, and most importantly, the creator for the Simple MMO App Hub, which is a mobile simulator for you to be able to play Simple MMO on your desktop through mobile. Most importantly though, you could just pop out chat and only have chat up and just hang out in global if you're degenerate like some of these folks in, in chat and, and if you're Pison. Maybe not Pison anymore now that he's muted. But without further ado, <laughs> <laughs> taking shots. <laughs> I am go. muted. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to talk about that, but let's let's yeah. move on. <laughs> without further ado, let's go and hop into the first tier here. Uh, oh fuck me. <laughs> Oh, uh, nice zoom. <laughs> nice zoom, dude. Give me two seconds. Uh, You're about to get muted. <laughs> why? Just, you got it, man. Oh, okay. That, maybe that's a little too much. You had it for, I, I'm delayed, so I don't know if it's fixed yet. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right, we'll just do it like this. Oh, it's awful. You suck. There you go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Look at this. Look at this beautiful work. All right. Take two, of course. And let's talk about the, <laughs> the first <laughs> tier here. Celestial tier. Ladies and gentlemen, zero freaking movement. Uh, Babylon first. TSL, the Stinky Legion in second. Rain Factory, a.k.a. Pain Factory, a.k.a. No longer fourth place guild. And third, still friendly two, holding on the fourth place. The forest limping along. Uh, in fifth place, I think the yeah. only thing to note here is that TSL is catching up to Babel. It's not as big of a, a gap as last season where Babel just absolutely crushed it. But um, yeah, you know, Celestial, it's boring. It is what it is. I'm sure we'll see Babel collapse a little bit more, um, but not right now. Uh, so yeah, were you, weren't those the April first names you were reading? Yes, they were. Yeah, that was that was a great time. Yeah. I like those screenshots. Yeah. Uh, so what? To take note here, because there's no movement whatsoever. Uh, Babel did earn only 4.9 mil uh, this go around since the uh, what do we what do we call it? The sanctions. The sanctions. So, uh, and I believe there's. I mean, once the and once they're allowed to, you know, dissipate from the guild, uh, there's probably going to be a split. Um, if not, you know, the core members quitting mm -hmm. or being banned, what mm -hmm. have you. But they earned 4.9. TSL, on the other hand, earned 13.6 mil this go around in the last seven days. Rain Factory earned almost 8 mil. Still Friendly 2 earned 5.8. In the Force, 5.7. Yeah. So TSL is putting in work uh, with the EXP. Yeah. And that, that's just, you can't, if you just look at the total, shit's not happening. You know, like there's <laughs> fucking nothing going on. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. seeing the earned, uh, I mean, the event's going to end this week, right? Right. Yeah. So 
It'll be interesting to see. This is like kind of part, of, like a little bit of the events in here. But it'll be interesting to see uh, the next seven days of data uh, and where guilds are positioned. Yeah, uh, I will yeah. say, like, and in, in, uh, this is a flashback to yesterday's video that I uh, for the weekly guild stats. One, mm -hmm. you can see who dominated um, in the PvP side of the house. Uh, yeah, go watch that, everyone. Yeah, if you want more lore that leads into the SGL, watch the weekly guild stats. Absolutely. Um, I will say though, like, it doesn't seem like this vent has generated a lot of, um, interactions or like guild EXP, like being boosted. It feels like it's very same, same, um, as it normally is. And, and even like the, the, the weekly active guilds is not as high as I, I thought it would be. And I, I made comments about it in the video itself. Um, so it is interesting to see how this Easter event has kind of played out. It's kind of. It's not like yeah. some of the other events, like the Christmas event or the Winter Holiday or, or Halloween, or, or Halloween, Halloween, right? Like those are pretty big ones, or even the community event. But for whatever reason, the Easter event just didn't bring in a lot. I mean, don't get me wrong, the server was still getting yeah, wrecked, the servers were right? owned. Um, yeah. But when it comes to like the the guild side of the house, you don't see as much of a a, a, a boom in activity. Yeah, I wonder when why that was because usually it's. Easter is like the first big event of the year, of the new year. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah. I still remember Ajid years ago saying, I don't give a shit about any event but Easter because then I have the best gear for the, you know, the year leading all the way through until like Halloween, you know? Um, so I always viewed Easter as like, this is a pivotal event to get the year started uh, and then not touch anything until like winter. <laughs> but then even if you go to winter you could literally just go easter to easter yep. and you'll be okay so yeah interesting stuff yeah yeah I, I i fully thought we'd have over 100 guilds being active but that just wasn't the case so all right let's uh move on to the next tier the legendary tier here uh, it's our 6th to 10th place positions. Again, no movement. The EXP mm -hmm. is getting closer, though, between the different positions. But 6th place, we have Friendly. 7th place is Prostor. 8th place is Wolfblood. ninth is Murder of the Universe. And 10th is our, our PvE, our top tier PvE guild, Dead Poet Society, um, who is mm -hmm. absolutely dominating in the PvE realm. Uh, so cool to see a PvE guild in the top 10. But otherwise, not too much movement. I mean... DPS has a lot to do to catch up, uh, yeah. uh, but compared to everyone else, but I mean, the 6th through 8th place positions, more so 7th and 8th, are super close, and you know who knows what could happen next week, um, but for sure, uh, still no movement, so m maybe nothing will absolutely happen, so, you know, it is yeah. what it is. Yep, and the ESP is getting closer, uh, the differentials here. The earned EXP is all over the place. Uh, Friendly earned four, almost 4.9. Uh, Prostar only earned 2.5. Goblin Blood. <laughs> that was like the best name, dude. Yeah. Uh, Dagon, if you're still here. Let's just, let's just do it. But Wolf Blood with 7.3 earned, the highest in the bracket. Murder of the Universe with 5.2. Uh, I think Hugs is still there. And I think there's newer members in mou right now and dps with 4.5 they should rename themselves uh the dead coven society because of uh, the coven member the core coven members that kind of went there after you know right freaking deleted <laughs> but um yeah so dps is probably where it's going to be unless someone's threatening them from below but uh yeah a, a couple there's only a couple more weeks left in the season so it'll be interesting to see who like if someone if there's movement in legendary it's gonna be like by a position and then there's probably gonna be no more movement for the the remainder of the season so. yeah i think that that would be wolf blood right based off of the earned yeah. exp wolf, wolf blood is gunning for it yeah i know theron's in chat in abyssal woof woof uh and it yeah i, I wolf blood's gonna move up but legendary fought like these guilds fought to be here all throughout spring uh none of these were flukes right. the coven deletion only affected guilds below them so you know they 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 got here because they were you know they were pretty bloody but yeah that's pretty much it for legendary cool well let's move on to the next one we have the epic oh, tier this might be the biggest <laughs> surprise what the heck 
Yeah. <laughs> Number 15? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, epic no tier way. here. <laughs> 11th through 15th place positions. We have Golden Arrows in 11th place. Blackwater in 12th. The Titans in 13th. Zealoth Zenith Kitties in 14th. And finally, we have Wolf, which is kind of a big deal here. Wolf was like, you know, 25 or 23. They were dead. They were, they were like dead for yeah, the longest time. <laughs> they died off. Uh, something happened. I'm looking up this guild, dude. You keep talking. Yeah, something must have happened where they're just like, hey, yo. We gotta be better than that, and uh, you know they absolutely started to crush it. I'm sure they saw our streams and were like, you know what, we can't let them rag on us anymore. We got. They don't know who we are still to this day. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, congrats to Wolf. They're grinding hard. They're moving up position. They've broken into the epic tier. I mean, it, it's not far off to say that they could push into the epic tier, like higher into it. You know, 13th and 14th is only uh, you know three mil away. Um, so they'll have to do three mil plus whatever the the you know Titans or Zelda and the Kitties normally earn, but they're 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 doing well. Um, this tier is the PVE tier though, like Blackwater, the Titans, Zelda and the Kitties are, are, mm -hmm. are PVE, uh, so it may be easier. I don't know. Um, Wolf, but, Wolf is PVE. Apparently. Okay, that's what I thought as well. Yeah, I wasn't for sure, so I was holding off on that. But yeah, yeah so four out of the five guilds in in the Epic tier are PVE. Um, and, and, and they're doing a pretty good job, so. Okay, um, chat. Uh, so I recognize Love Boat. Okay. Uh, he's stopped by the stream, but how would you, look in chat, how would you read this name? This is the leader of Wolf. Is that fuck up? Y yeah, I think so. Is that fuck up? That looks like <laughs> fuck up to me. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I thought, dude. This is the leader of Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Foo cup? <laughs> Uh yeah. no, f I'm well yeah because I, I I guess with an O it'd be fu it'd be fu fuck up fuck but up. fuck up but yeah. I read it as fuck up yeah Incubus no, said I Incubus just said, just said I just joined Wolf oh nice. dude congrats you're in a and their their co their co lead is Taco Dealer sixty nine <laughs> they got some good leaders there good names. Uh, we have an, hold on, we have a surprise visit from the, uh -oh. the favorite analyst, uh -oh. and they're, they have, they have something to say about fuck up. <laughs> they have something they want to share with it. Oh, oh, the strawberry, the strawberry feet. Very nice. Very cute. Very cute. Okay. What do you think about, how would you read that name, little analyst? Would you, would you read that name out loud? Would you... Would it ruin your purity? She literally does not want to talk about Wolf. She is so she is so disgusted of the leader's name. She would rather shit her pants. She won't even she will not even look at the name on the SG, on the SGL right now. I have the SGL right in front of me and she's looking over, she's looking to the left. She's she'd rather she's like, let me roll out of your arms. She'd rather just roll. Instead of read the name. All right, everyone, you're going to get a close up before she goes. Little baby, little baby, little baby girl. Oh, look at her. Little baby girl. Look at her. She's so cute. <laughs> she really is. She gets it from me. Thank you, Kentrish. <laughs> everyone, the, it, it pisses, it pisses Kentrish off because everyone will come up, even her own family. Because listen. Yeah. She, we had her 100 day party, which is like a Korean tradition. Right. Uh, that she survived 100 days. Because in the old times, babies didn't really do that. And uh, everyone came up and was like, she looks just like you <laughs> to me. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, rest in peace. <laughs> I was like, rest in freaking peace, dude. Uh, but yeah. Wolf is wild. And and because Cutie's in chat, Wolf is about to get freaking... Their leader is about to get uh, reported. <laughs> that, <laughs> there's no way that's not red. Not red fuck up. There's just no way. Yeah. All right, but yeah. anyway, this um, this tier, it took a while for, thing, for the guilds to settle in it. Right. Um, not as bloody as legendary. I would I feel like guilds fell... It, it, they either fell into epic or because coven got deleted they got boosted into epic um but to be fair blackwater has been here for a while i didn't i didn't expect sin to last this long to be honest with you 
Uh, so good for them. Uh, I, I know they have uh, Deja as well, who's a heavy hitter. So Golden Arrow is kind of just stalling here. Uh, and then Blackwater reached this position after restarting their guild essentially during the season. And this is probably where they're going to stay. Mm-hmm. The tie-ins, you know, we all know about the tie-ins. And then ZZK, the second edition, uh, they've been moving up slowly. And then Wolf was a huge surprise, especially for a PvE guild. Like right. Crazy what I was just mentioning, um, this is like, this is the tier where uh, they kind of belong. But yeah, the earned EXP here is is super low. Believe it or not, they're all, yeah, like Crazy Five showing, they're all in the 2,000 or 2 million. Yeah. Uh, so it's like everyone's like barely doing enough to kind of like stay in line with each other. And I don't know if we'll see any more movement. There's no like shockers here. But yeah, probably that's... not if they're keeping it at this. Like that's, yeah, that's all they need to do to hold the, the position. So, and it's a little more interesting in the next tier uh, right. with get into like it. the the fallout. Nineteen. Oh, Cuban's here. Shout out, Cuban. 19.3. Oh, it's Genesis. If. All right. Elite <laughs> tier. Uh, 16th to 20th place <laughs> positions. We have Genesis at 16th. Uh, dead guild that they are. The Knights of Sayi is 17th. Shadow Garden moving up one for the 19th, 18th place position, which means Indonesia has dropped down to 19th. And TPC holding out strong in the 20th place position. Um, yeah, can we just get Genesis off the gosh darn leaderboard already? Holy Christmas. Uh, dead guild walking. Or laying there, I don't know. And everyone else is struggling to catch up to them. Um, nice to see. It's interesting to see, especially based off of their you know strong performance last season. I don't know if like, yeah. probably catches. Dude, just took a step. What back. happened? Um, what happened, dude? Yeah, <laughs> but it is. I do like seeing Shadow Garden. They're actively making steps to uh, advance in this mm-hmm. in SGL. They're doing a lot of work. You, I see them all the time in game. Uh, so congrats to Shadow and and their guild, Shadow Garden. Yeah, the the Babel drama didn't keep them down. You know what I mean? They just <laughs> persevered. Yeah. What an interesting time to be alive. <laughs> that 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 was kind of like the that was kind of like the starting point of the like Babel's yeah. like yeah of uh, not downfall but the last uh, straw before the sanctions. <laughs> yeah, this damn sanction. Damn it, Iran. Okay. <laughs> um. So looking at the Ernie XP, we all know Genesis is dead and it's taking forever. To get out of the SGL, but yeah, I mean, Yee's only—they only earned 1.4 mil. Uh, Shadow Garden earned 3.6, which is the highest in the tier, and quite frankly, higher than all of the Epic guilds. Um, so Shadow Garden, keep doing what you're doing. Hopefully, the Easter event is pulling uh, your guild, you know, uh, together and through, you know, to do more actionable things like raids and stepping and and what have you. Yeah. Uh, Indonesia. This was another we I clickbaited the shit out of this guild because they shot up into the SGL like a freaking rocket mm-hmm. and now they're slowly decaying. I mean classic. they almost earned one what what'd you say? It's a classic. It's a classic, yeah. Uh it's like step in step in chill. Ooh. You know? Ooh. Ooh. Rest Dang. in peace card. Dang, <laughs> but, dude. But Indonesia earning just under one mil and then TPC not even reaching one mil. Uh yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I see why. I mean, TBC is like a log. You just kind of step over at this point at number 20. Uh, but, you know, good to see a familiar face. Uh, you know? God dang. You just uh, popping shots left and right. <laughs> right, Sassima, if you're here, good job. King Cows, dude, I will never let this go. King Cows did TPC dirty. Keeban abandoned us for, for TPC. And, yeah. Uh, you know, I, and I wish Loch Ness was in Couch Cat and not in TPC when we were like doing our climb. I wish Loch Ness was was ours, but yeah, <laughs> sold. All right, let's move on to the rare <laughs> tier. We're, we're okay. pushing over time a little bit. Uh, Whoopsies. Twenty one through twenty five. Not much movement here either. Wow, what a boredom except for Grill Wizards. Holy uh, shit, they woke up. Twenty one. Step and chill. Twenty two. Necromancer's Den. Uh, 23, Mark Amad. 24, yeah, moving up three positions, breaking into the mm-hmm. rare tier. Gorilla Wizards, congrats to them. And 25 is Asgard. Um, yep. Yeah, it's it's kind of a slow week, it seems. So good good for Gorilla Wizards, uh, but they're definitely a guild that I don't know if I want to see them in the top 25. They're just kind of like all over the place. Uh, they're either like near legendary or not. 
and it's just it's so this guild is so freaking confusing it has so many legacy players in it i just don't know what their goal is right uh, but looking at earned as you can see step and chill barely earning anything if at all right. uh ncr dead good they suck i hate that guild uh markimon dead rest in peace they've been dead for a while girl of wizards these are freebies these are guilds they're in a they're in a tier with a bunch of dead guilds so yeah. these guilds will probably move up and out of this whole um tier i'm hoping for asgard because asgard they're a tier two guild we've seen them in the tier two system do i sound just like elsia we see them in the tier two system and now they're finally here baby and i'm here to see it so let's let's move on yeah. uh to my favorite segment the tier two segment oh sweet jesus we'll just we'll yeah start there yeah you kind of yeah kind of like log yeah you gotta, you gotta zoom in a little bit there brother but i'll run through it real quickly so nightmare rats fell into the tier two system uh two positions down at 26 murder of the crows falling down to 27 newbies hanging on to 28 uh so yeah good for them i mean they've been hanging out so house of bamboozle at number 29 we have anarchy at 30 we have cult of eternal ice moving six positions up so they are a brand new tier two guild uh or they're a guild in the tier two system a brand new guild in the tier two system excuse me so uh one i love the name uh i love these names coming in yeah they're cool so go and keep an eye on them that's probably one of the biggest pushes we've seen within the tier two uh and uh i'll look at their earned exp in a second vex here with blazing beast at 32 moving two positions up great on they just barely made it into tier two and now they're moving forward so good on them uh shout out to vex close friends dropping two positions getting freaking bodied by cult of eternal ice and <laughs> vex's guild phoenix moving up a whole position they're our newer guild uh so good good on them and then first gen black dragon already fallen three positions it is very bloody down here in tier two uh, and just real quickly, the earned EXP, abysmal from Nightmare Rats. They're probably on their way to being dead. Uh, Murder of the Crows earning 1.1 mil, so good on them. Uh, and most notable here, so Cult of Eternal Ice, they earned 1.1 mil. Uh, Blazing Beast earned 640k. And everyone else is kind of flip-flopping, but Phoenix is right behind them, uh, earning almost 6. But yeah, the, the earned EXP ratio is so different down here compared Very to different. the... Uh, the yeah above uh, the top 25 um but they're duking it out here is i this is more this is exciting to watch um and i can't wait because we implemented mid-season i can't wait crazy fight to see this from a, a new season right from oh, like yeah, summer 2024 sure. there's gonna be and tons see, of movement here because now we get to see where the guilds kind of like disappear from yeah. you know disappear from the top 25 yeah, yeah, and then yeah. also the new faces so yeah that's exciting um yeah, but that's the tier two system. That is the SGO. Uh, you know, that'll do it. Shout out to the VOD squad for, you know, whoever's going to watch this later. So, yeah, really appreciate it. And that will, yeah, that's SGO right there. Wow All right. We. All right, steppers, par couch cats, uh, best friends, <laughs> best friends. Um, best friends forever. Uh, I'm going to edit the beginning of this stream so no one will ever have to live through what everyone here tonight lived through. i'm going to be uh, into it and only post the uh jankor aesthetic that's just not it's just <laughs> it's just not happening so clip but, it uh, all quickly no but uh again thank you so much to everyone who right. showed up thank you for everyone who didn't leave after that shit happened um and hopefully it will never happen again uh so uh yeah uh from my end uh, thanks so much for showing up like subscribe uh and keep your eye out for more stepping party streams crazy fight does it every tuesday or tries to i'm going to try to do it every wednesday so that way we can like ramp up to thursday streams um yeah crazy fight do you have anything to say before you drop out of here i really appreciate everyone being here it's always fun and enjoy hanging out with you all uh, so we'll see you then next time okay all right everyone like subscribe and we'll see you over in the discord the link's down in the description because our website's in development <laughs> peace out Bye bye